Hey guys, just got back from a long day of virtually showing properties and it made me realize that once the um, coronavirus has been tamed a little bit and once we're starting to get off a of shelter in place, there's gonna be a lot of transactions taking place. And with that being said, it made me think about um, some of the tips and strategies that I've learned to help strengthen your offer outside of just offering more money. In really competitive markets, typically people will receive a ton of offers on the offer date and they aren't going to counter every single one of them. They're simply going to choose the offer they want, accept it, and move forward. So as a buyer's agent, it's extremely important to figure out exactly what number to offer and what other contingencies you can add to make your offer more appealing. So let's just dive into it. So like I said, things that can make your offer more appealing outside of just a simple, hey, I'll offer you more money. Okay, so number one is financing contingency. Especially for first time home buyers, it's really important to show that you have financing ready and that you will secure financing once you're in contract. So for example, one thing in San Francisco that really makes offers stand out is having a financing contingency of 10 days or less. If you can pull that off, and this is largely dependent on the financial institution you're working with, as well as the loan or mortgage officer you're working with at that institution. Um, if you can if you can pull this off, it can really make your offer stand out because what it says to the seller is these people have their ducks in a row. Um, they're not messing around and they have the money on hand ready to buy the property and there's not going to be any kind of financing problems once once the seller accepts the accepts the offer and the buyer and seller are in contract. So what that means is making sure that there's no unforeseen hiccups in your finances, no gaps in employment, um, don't make any major moves. Um, like buying a car, buying a boat, buying another house, moving money around, things like that. Keep everything in place, and um, make sure that your make sure that your lender um, ideally knows about anything that's a little bit um, atypical with your financing. With that being said a good loan officer will be able to pick out of your out of your financial records any discrepancies that might slow down a deal so it's really 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 important for your agent to have a great relationship with super competent top producing um lenders at many different institutions because the products that different institutions can offer vary greatly. So that's one way you can really make your offer stand out. Short financing contingency um, or almost no financing contingency. I know Wells Fargo can do um, some kind of underwriting where they can do the underwriting up front instead of once the contract is in escrow. And what that allows the clients to do is put in like a one or two day financing contingency and it lets the listing agent and the seller know that this, this is a very serious buyer, they're qualified, they're ready to move and financing, which is usually the reason deals fall through, um, isn't gonna be a problem. The second thing you can do, short close of escrow. So that means that you are confident in your transaction team's ability or your ability. In my case, um, we have a really, really outstanding transaction coordination team here at Barry Real Estate. Um, it means that you're confident in their ability to get the job done. You're confident in the lender's ability to deliver and you're confident in escrow's ability to get the job done well. Um, additionally, escrow, not all escrow companies are created equal, just like not all lenders are created equal. So that's a really important relationship as well. Um, another thing you can do, and this is a little atypical, but it has help, helped in the past, is write what we call a love letter. Write, to, write a letter directly to the seller explaining what this house means to you how you're gonna take care of it, what you see for it, and just why you love it so much. That can really, really make an offer stand out to a seller. I know if I was selling my home, if someone did that, I would. Re my wife and I would very, very much appreciate it, and we would definitely consider their offer more strongly than others. 
Um, let's think here. Another thing, another thing that can you can do to really make your offer stand out is to have the disclosure package as done as possible when you submit your offer and let the listing agent know that it's going to be done that day. This isn't always possible, but if you do have like a week or so before you know you really love a house and you wanna buy it and you're gonna submit an offer, is to look through the entire disclosure package, make sure there's no red flags and sign off on on all of the disclosures you've, re you've received. Um, sign off on all the disclosures about the house and generally like have that done either day of or very like very very quickly after you submit your offer this can really show the listing side that this team is not messing around they have all their ducks in a row and that once we get into escrow there aren't going to be any problems so yeah that's just that's four strategies for increasing for improving the strength of your offer there's a ton of other things you can do to make your offer more appealing um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks.